How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome to three more tips and tricks in Construct 2. Fonts are important because you want to have control over them. You're looking at font all the time. So when it comes to your code, you actually want to make sure that it's readable and something that you enjoy programming with. If you're coming from editors such as Sublime or MonoDevelop, this is something that is really common, so you might want to be consistent with it. Here's how we change it in Construct 2. We go File, Preferences, and we go under the Event Sheet View, under the Event Sheet Font, we hit Change, and then we find the font that we want. In this case, I'm going to go to Source Sans Pro and change it from the default Construct 2 and hit OK, and then hit OK again. I'm going to exit out so the changes will take place and double click again and it's a little subtle but you can actually see a difference there and that might be more readable to my eye and I might be more comfortable with this font. If I wanted to go for a more drastic change I can go file preferences and I can again hit change again and then I'm going to type in this font and this is one of the top 10 programming fonts if you look up any article on what are the good programming fonts. Consulus is under there so let's hit OK and any font that's on your computer you can change to and hit OK again and again and again exit out and double click to reopen it and now you can really see a change in this font and this might be something that you're more comfortable with or you just might enjoy looking at this as your program. The quick access toolbar is the toolbar in the top left, so all these icons here are very commonly used, but did you know that you could actually add more to them? Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to drop down this little arrow, and we're going to hit more commands, and it's going to give us this window that right off the bat you can see other commands that we can add. We can actually add a save as a single file or a capx file, and that's a hugely important button and a huge time saver. We can also add the export project button and if we really wanted to just kind of you can see here that the save as single file has this icon attached to it but so does the preferences. If I want to add the preferences because it would be nice to have a quick access to that button all I can do is add a separator here and then I can add the preferences and now I can actually organize this a little bit more. But wait, I can even add other features from my other tabs. So I can drop this down and I have my view and my events right here. So if I go to my view tab, I can add my cell height, I can add my cell width, and maybe I actually want a separator here. So I'm gonna add a separator and I can actually add my grid options. I can add my grid size and I can keep going down. I think I got a little more that I can add. Let's add another separator and I can add my zoom in and I can add my zoom out and I can add my zoom to 100%. Even though these are in my other tabs, having it on my quick access bar is really helpful. So let me hit okay. And now you can see what it's done, but it's still a little bit inconvenient that it's up this high. So I can drop this down again and I can hit show below the ribbon. And now I have a lot of control. So when I go to my layout, I can zoom in, I can zoom out without having to actually mess around or by going to the view tab and messing around with zoom in and zoom out there. Even though it's one extra step, it's still nice to have all of these features right here and to know what they are. I can open up the preferences really easily, I can export my project as a single file, or I can just export it as an actual game. So it's really nice to have more commands on my quick access toolbar. Keyboard shortcuts will allow you to navigate any program a lot quicker. So it's important to know that you can remap them. So if you're not happy with the defaults, or maybe you don't know some of the default shortcuts, you can actually go back to the quick access toolbar, the customize button, and hit more commands. And then where it says keyboard shortcuts, hit customize. Now it's broken down into categories, but I'm going to go to all commands here and just look at all of the commands we can do. Add group, add event, add condition. You can customize every single one of them. And it's very important in case you're used to other software and maybe you just want similar shortcuts like copy and paste. If you just wanted to make it even easier, then you could do that. So one that I like to customize a whole lot is all the way down in the T's and it's the toggle bookmarks to turn them on or off. So I'm going to press a new key. In this case, I'm just going to hit G. I'm going to hit assign and then I'm going to close out and hit OK. So now when I make a new event, so let me double click, system, start of layout, 
when I, oops, when I hit G on the keyboard now, I'm gonna toggle it as a bookmark. And you can see now that the bookmark star pops up and it's in my bookmarks bar. So how cool is that? You can easily remap any feature in Construct 2. Thanks so much for watching. That's it for this video of three tips and tricks in Construct 2. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, or maybe you want to see a different kind of video, then leave a comment below and I'd be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, please make sure you subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and I'll see you next time.